Hey everyone, it's Jaden here, and this is going to be the first video on my channel. On this channel, you can expect me to post videos about liminal content, lost media, and religious cult videos, things that are just simply interesting to learn. If you like that kind of content, please feel free to like and subscribe, but other than that, let's get right into the video. The Family International, also known as TFI, is an American new religious movement founded in 1968 by David Brant Berg. The group has gone under a number of different names since its inception, including Teens for Christ, The Children of God, The Family of Love, or simply The Family. Former members have accused the Family International of being an authoritarian cult which engages in systematic physical and sexual abuse of children, resulting in lasting trauma among survivors. The group has also been accused of targeting vulnerable people. The Family International at its height had tens of thousands of members, including Joaquin Phoenix and Jeremy Spencer. The Family International spread a message of salvation, apocalypticism, spiritual revolution and happiness, and distrust of the outside world. Berg communicated with his followers via Mo letters letters of instruction and counsel on mirrored spiritual and practical subjects until his death in late 1994. After his death, his widow Karen Zerby became the leader of the Family International, taking the titles of Queen and Prophetess. Zerby married Steve Kelly, also known as Peter Amsterdam, an assistant of Berg's whom Berg had handpicked as her consort. Kelly took the title of King Peter and became the face of the Family International, speaking in public more often than either Berg or Zerby. There have been multiple allegations of child sexual abuse made by past members. Berg preached a combination of traditional Christian evangelism with elements popular with the counterculture of the 1960s. There was much end-of-the-world imagery found in the book of Revelation of the New Testament in the Bible preaching of the impending doom for America and the ineffectiveness of established churches. Berg urged a return to the early Christian community described in the Bible's book of Acts in which believers lived together and shared all resembling communal living of the 1960s hippies. <sighs> I know that was a lot and I sincerely apologize, but I really just want you guys to grasp what the Family International is. Now I'll leave a link in the description below to some of the articles that I reviewed, just so that if you guys really want to know more about the Family International, you guys can go ahead and click on those links below and have reliable sources of information. But moving forward, we're going to get into more of the controversial topics. And again, like I said, we are going to be going over topics that mention sexual assault, murder, suicide, and everything like that. So if you're really sensitive to those topics, uh, please click off the video now. But let's go ahead and get into the topics that you guys most likely clicked on this video for. Richard P. Rodriguez, born David Moses Zerby, was born on January 25, 1975, and was an American member of the Family International. He is known for murdering one of his childhood sexual abusers, Angela M. Smith, and then died by suicide. While growing up in the Family International, Rodriguez was frequently exposed to adults engaging in sexual intercourse at Berg's home as a part of the group member's sexual sharing. When he was 10 months old, Zerbi and Berg asked Sarah, one of Rodriguez's nannies, to start creating a document titled The DeVito Book, also referred to as The Story of DeVito. The book contains descriptions of sexual interactions between the child Rodriguez and adults, most of which were previously sent out to members in the form of pamphlets called DeVito Letters. The 762-page document included photos of Rodriguez with naked teenage girls and being present during the group's orgies. One of his nannies, Angela M. Smith, who was also Zerby's personal secretary, was included in the photos, in one of which he is undoing his pants. The picture is captioned, Undressing for Sue. The material also contained captions and text written by Berg commenting on the situation in a sexual manner. Berg later ordered DeVito and similar documents that had been created to be purged or references to sex removed, but former members were able to establish its existence by distributing the material via email. In 2002, Rodriguez made a post on the website Moving On accusing Berg of abusing his own daughters and granddaughter in the Philippines and describing Zerbi as apathetic and violent towards her children. He also mentioned his teen training in most of his posts on his site. Ex-member Sarah Martin, who corresponded with Rodriguez to the site, said that he quote-unquote carried this huge weight on his shoulders. 
never got over the DeVito prophecy and felt he had needed to put an end to Zerbi's abuse. Rodriguez also said he thought about suicide since his teen training and hoped the group's leader's evil legacy will die with the Family International. In a similar 2004 post, he said he realized he could not move on because, quote, the first 25 years of my life will always haunt me, end quote, with the end of his post asking those, quote, who have nothing to lose, such as myself, quote, to help him with a plot for revenge. Rodriguez further told his mar martial arts teacher, Kevin Schmidt, he had considered murdering members of the Family International in the past. Rodriguez's friend, ex-member Daniel Nathan Rozelle, advised taking legal action, but he was mostly concerned with finding Zerbi in Amsterdam. Rodriguez would then go on to invite Smith to dinner in his apartment. After she arrived, Rodriguez stabbed her several times in the arm, then slit her throat. Rodriguez then left his apartment and drove to Byleth, California, where he arrived at midnight. He rented a motel room and began to call his family members in Lakewood, Washington, notifying them of a body in his apartment. Next, Rodriguez pulled into a parking lot near 14th Avenue, called Munamel, told her he had killed Smith, and asked her to call the police. He also told Munamel he had killed Smith to avenge his sister, Techi, and those still in the Family International rather than himself. He said Smith didn't understand what she had done wrong as she was dying. Rodriguez called the murder the hardest thing I ever did in my life and said it did not make him feel better. Munamo claims that Rodriguez pleaded with her to commit suicide with him, then said goodbye to her and hung up. At roughly 2 a.m., Rodriguez shot himself in the head with his handgun. This story is truly so horrific, but I think this is a great way to end the video because it's so impactful and it shows you that even something so life central and something that so many people need in their lives like religion or God can be turned around and turned into something so negative and so disgusting. Now, if you have any friends or family that are a part of a cult just like this or anything similar, please tell them that this is not the way to live. And there are many people who are a part of the Family International and other cults around the world that genuinely thought that there was no way to get out. But now they are living lives that they want to. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys have an amazing day or night. And if you've ever experienced any kind of abuse like this, just know that you guys can make a full recovery. And I have faith in you guys. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll be uploading soon again, and have a great day.